premise. Twitter proves that brevity isn't the soul of wit. Welcome to Everything is Lit, where we treat anything and everything like literature and dissect it. Today we're going to look at the impact that Twitter's character limit has on users' creativity. Until recently, Twitter was infamous for its 140 character limit on individual tweets. For reference, the premise at the top of this video and the sentence before this one combined would already run over the original character limit. This limit forced users to be creative in how they communicated on the platform breaking up sentences into fragments and creating abbreviations like DM for direct message, two characters for the price of 14. The limit, which included usernames in its count, originated from the app's time as an SMS program. This changed in 2017 when Twitter expanded the limit for some users to 280 characters. According to their blog, they crunched the numbers and found that English tweeters, meaning people tweeting in English, not Twitter users from the UK, had a harder time condensing their tweets than Japanese users and others using similar languages. This is likely because languages like Japanese use logograms, or characters that represent entire concepts, as opposed to languages like English that use multiple characters grouped together, also known as words, to represent an idea. In fact, Twitter saw that not only were English tweets typically longer than Japanese ones, but also that English tweets were more than 22 times more likely to reach 140 characters than Japanese tweets. All of this meant that it was time to increase the character limit, so Twitter doubled it. Twitter traditionalists grumbled about the character limit change, clinging to the rationale that brevity forced creativity and was a core part of Twitter's brand. One user hilariously marked up Twitter founder Jack Dorsey's announcement tweet, proving that 140 characters was sufficient. However, various studies done on the relationship between writing quality and length would beg to differ. One of these studies, published in the Journal of College Reading and Writing by Lovett, Lewandowski, Berger, and Gaffey, found that when students typed their essays, the more time they had to write, the better quality those essays tended to be. Side note, the researchers also found that typing your essays versus handwriting didn't necessarily improve your writing quality, but that finding would be similar to us comparing tweeting to handwriting a letter. Going back to the typing students, there are obviously many possible explanations for why having more time to type an essay may lead to better quality. Researchers call these confounding variables, but the principle remains the same. Having more time to write is related to better writing. Applying this to Twitter, having more time to write can be considered equivalent to having a larger character limit. But writing essays is different from posting a tweet, right? Usually, when you're writing an essay, you're hoping to answer a specific writing prompt or get a good grade or make a convincing argument, whereas tweeting is usually to express yourself with few consequences, usually. So how can we compare the research study to social media use? This is where Social Media Lab comes in. Social Media Lab, a group dedicated to conducting experiments about how social media work, looked into the impact that longer tweets could have on Twitter engagement. Many businesses, organizations, and other communities use social media to grow their bases, which helps them increase consumer loyalty, make sales, improve readership, you name it. This makes social media higher stakes for these kinds of users and means that even the smallest changes impact their engagement strategies. Social Media Lab ran an experiment on their Twitter accounts, which ranged in size, to see if there was a difference in engagement between longer, or 280 character, and shorter, 140 character tweets. They found that on average, longer tweets sparked more engagement, which they measured in terms of impressions, retweets, likes, and clicks on embedded links. But I bet you're still skeptical. I mean, it's one thing to look at studious college kids or businesses peddling their wares tweet by tweet, but another thing altogether to read tweets from individuals, right? After all, we all know the reputation for social media to feature and maybe even inspire heated debates, and none more so than Twitter. So how does the change in character limit correspond to these experiences? Well, the Washington Post showed just that in an article just before Twitter made the transition. The article's authors found that among political tweets, the longer ones tended to better explain the user's positions, include links to articles, and have a civil tone than shorter tweets. The authors used this finding to reason that social media platforms didn't have to resort to use censorship to promote civility. 
Obviously, just increasing the character limit of tweets doesn't make people suddenly be more tolerant of each other. In fact, the researchers found just the opposite. In other words, longer tweets tended to be less empathetic than shorter ones. However, they argue that social media sites shouldn't worry so much about character or word limits on posts, and more about promoting a culture of respect. So, from a technical, organizational, and sociopolitical perspective, increasing the character limit is related to better overall tweet quality. Basically, when people are able to say more, they tend to also say it better. Ultimately, what determines whether increasing the character limit on Twitter promoted or reduced quality of tweets is buyer's experience. Maybe you're better at expressing yourself when you don't have to worry about condensing your text. Or maybe you're a bit more concise and direct. Maybe the accounts you follow use every one of their 280 characters meaningfully to tell a story or idea. Or maybe you think they're long-winded. Maybe you're a firm believer in less is more. Or maybe you're convinced that more is better. While quality changes on a case-by-case -case basis, we know now that from the perspective of a society, Twitter doubling its character limit proves that brevity isn't necessarily the soul of wit. Instead, it might be freedom of expression that yields creativity. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in reading the articles that I cited in this video, links are in the description below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can be the first to know when a new episode is posted. And as always, stay lit.